Hello and welcome to Notebook Videos. We are back with another interesting video lesson from the chapter Carbon and its Compounds. This is the first video lesson from the second section of this chapter where we shall learn about isomers and homologous series. But as always, before we delve deeper, let us revise the previous concepts once. Previously, we learned the steps to name a branched hydrocarbon. First, we find the longest chain of carbons. Next, identify the functional group. Then, identify the alkyl group. After this, mark carbons so that the alkyl group gets the lowest number. Lastly, indicate position of the alkyl group. Well, students, after that quick revision, we are ready to proceed with our today's discussion. The first topic that we shall be discussing about are the isomers. Isomers are organic compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structure. So, if we take the example of butane, C4H10, we can either arrange it in a linear chain as shown or in a branched chain. Similarly, pentane, C5H12, has three isomers as shown. Hexane, C6H14 has five isomers, as you can see on the screen. And as the number of carbon atoms increase, the number of isomers increase too. While we are discussing about isomers, we should know what a homologous series is. So, a homologous series is a group of organic compounds having similar structure and similar chemical properties in which the successive compounds differ by a CH2 group. So, if you see the alkanes, these form a homologous series because the formula for methane is CH4 and that of its next compound in the table is ethane having a molecular formula of C2H6. So, these two compounds differ by a CH2 group. The same pattern is followed by the alkenes, ethene, propene, butene, pentene, hexene and so on. These form a homologous series and each hydrocarbon differs from the next hydrocarbon by a CH2 group. Ethene, whose molecular formula is C2H4, differs from propene C3H6 by a CH2 group and similarly, propene and butene also differ by a CH2 group and so on. Similar to alkanes and alkenes, alkynes too form a homologous series. So, ethine, whose molecular formula C2H2 has one CH2 group less than propine, whose molecular formula is C3H4. And this list goes on. But students, you must be wondering about why do we need to study homologous series. So, let us learn the reasons in brief points. Homologous series have similar chemical characteristics. They have a gradual change in their physical properties with increase in molecular mass. They always have a general formula to describe. The difference in molecular mass of any two adjacent homologues is 14. Any two adjacent homologues differ by one carbon and two hydrogen atom. They have the same functional group. Their method of preparation is also same. They also have similar structural formula. Also, they have the same nature of element. So students, I hope that you now have a clear idea about isomers and homologous series. In our next video lesson, we shall discuss about functional groups and how they are attached to a hydrocarbon chain. If you still have any doubt on the concepts till now, you can check the previous section once again. We shall meet you soon in our next video. And until then, Team Notebook wishes you goodbye.